We have some terms that are interchangeable. They have the same meanings. Um, so if f of c equals 0, this means that c is a root or a 0 of the function. It is an x-intercept on the graph, and it would mean that x minus c is a factor of f of x. I jumped down here a little bit. So for example, if x minus 4 is a factor, then 4 is a root or a 0 or solution. All those terms mean the same thing. And if you check 4 in the equation, it works, meaning that f of 4 equals 0. So if f of 4 is 0, then x minus 4 is a factor. 4 is a root, also called a 0, or a solution. And on the graph, it is an x-intercept. So our next problem says use synthetic division to divide this polynomial by x minus 1. We're going to set up, and so it will be 1, and we are in descending order. We'll take, we'll take the coefficient, so we have 1, negative 13, 47, negative 35, and there were no missing terms. Bring the first one down, 1 times 1 is 1. This gives negative 12. Negative 12 times 1 is negative 12. And this gives 35. 35 times 1 is 35. And this gives us a 0 for remainder. This means that 1 is a 0. What we want to do to get the others is rewrite our polynomial. So we were at x cubed. Now we're going to be at x squared. And we can set it equal to 0. The key is to get this down to a quadratic. Because even if it doesn't factor, you can go to quadratic formula and solve. This one, let's see, it looks to me like it would factor uh, with 7 and 5. So like signs both minus. And just double check. So that gives minus 12, that works. And so this one is going to be x equals 7. This one will be x equals 5. And don't forget your other 0 that you had at the beginning was x equals 1. Let's just have a quick look at this on our graphing calculator. I typed it in to save time. Here is your 1. Here is your 5. And this looks like 7. Um, now, when you're just doing this visually, and if we had not solved it, you would want to double check those. So like we would want to double check the 1 because it might be a tiny bit off. And so you would do a second calc value and let x be 1 and make sure this is 0. You don't want it to be a tiny bit off. Our next problem says solve this equation given that 2 is a 0 of this function. So we can use synthetic division, divide by the one zero they gave us. So they gave us two. We'll do two, negative five, one, and two. And we expect our remainder to be zero because they told us it is a zero, the two. So if two times two is four, this gives a negative 1, it's a negative 2, um, plus 1 is a negative 1, and negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2 with a 0 remainder. That's what we expected. Now what we want off of this is our quadratic equation here because we were at x cubed, now we're at x squared. So we have 2x squared minus x minus 1, and we'll set that equal to 0. Uh, we can try to factor. It's not huge numbers. So we have 2x and x plus and minus. Um, has to be 1 and 1 if it's going to work. And so double check. This is minus 2x plus 1x. 
would give us minus 1x. So we're good and we've got the signs in the right places. And now we solve. So if we set this one equal to 0, this one's just going to take two steps. Subtract your 1. Divide by 2. So this one gets a fraction. And this will be x equal 1. So your solutions are negative 1 half, 1, and the other one they gave you is 2. Here's a quick graph of that. And so there is your negative 1 half, 1 and 2. For this equation, they are giving us a fraction for the root. So we will need to do synthetic division with a fraction. So negative 3 halves, 12, 16, negative 5, negative 3. And hopefully the numbers will be pretty. All right, so negative 3 halves times 12. Your 2 will cancel. We'll go into 12 six times and multiply across this will give us negative 18. Uh, plus 16 will give us a negative 2. This one will cancel nicely. Negative 3 halves times a negative 2 over 1. It is going to give you a positive 3. This will give us a negative 2 and this will also, it will give us back the same thing, positive 3 and a 0. So it's okay if you get fractions. Don't um, get too upset if you have fractions, right? We want to get our quadratic back. So we have 12x squared. We're dropping 1 degree lower, minus 2x minus 2 equals 0. And we could factor this to solve. One thing that I see there that I would do, uh, there is a 2 in every term. You can divide the 2 out or you can factor it out front. Um, we'll just divide it out. So I'm doing this because I can see they're all even. And so that will give me 6x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. And then we'll see if we can factor this. So we'll try uh, different signs. And here we have two choices. Uh, we can try 6 and 1 or 3 and 2. Uh, if we try, let's try 3 and 2 because I'm going to try to combine to get a 1. And over here I have to have 1 and 1. So let's see what we get there. Here is a minus 3x on the outside plus 2x. That's going to give me the minus 1x. So that was a good choice. You don't always pick the right thing the first time. Okay. All right. So we'll set this one equal to 0. 3x plus 1 equals 0. And 2x minus 1 equals 0. I'm going to just roll this up a tiny bit. Right, so I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. 3x equals negative 1 divided by 3. So there is another fraction. x equals negative 1 third. This one add the 1. So 2x equals 1 divided by 2. And x equals 1 half. So our solutions on this one. Uh, let's see, negative 3 halves would be the smallest, negative 1 third, and positive 1 half. This statement is just summarizing again for you. We say that c is a zero of a function, or that c is a root of an equation. Either way, c is a solution and an x-intercept of the graph. Right. Now they're giving us an equation to solve and they're asking us where do we start.
In the last few problems, they gave us one zero, and then we could use synthetic division and get our polynomial down to a quadratic. Uh, but right now, we are at a cubic, um, and so we're a little bit stuck. Uh, what I would do with this one is I would go to the calculator. So remember, you're going under your y equals to enter it. So we're going to enter x to the third plus 2x to the second minus 5x minus 6. And we'll graph. All right. Looks like we can see those zeros. Uh, we'll have to double check, though. I think this one is negative 3 and negative 1. We want to go under second calc and value to make sure that we don't really have a fraction there. So if I try negative 3, and yes, that equals 0. So I'll do it again, second calc. I'm going to try value, um, negative 1. And yes, it is. And so I'm going to try 2. So second calc value, 2, enter, and that one also is. So we're good. We actually have the zeros. Now the important thing is that we could get at least one of them. Sometimes you might have a graph that only crosses in one place. Maybe it hits once and turns around or maybe it just goes through one time. Um, and then you have to consider that you might have some other kinds of zeros if that happens, like you might have some complex zeros. So um, then go to your synthetic division with what you have and get it down to a quadratic. But that was not necessary here. We could actually pick them off.